On the 12th of March, we spotted a suspicious vessel heading towards Liberia from the Côte d'Ivoire EEZ. Uh, its details were quite confusing. In one section, it came up as the Hailong and the other as Ray. Uh, and this many names was an unusual scenario for us. Upon further investigation from our campaign director, we were informed that it was in fact a notorious IUU vessel that over the years has sailed under many names, and it became clear that this vessel had a long history of IUU fishing ranging from the coast of Africa to the frigid depths of Antarctica. The Hailung, or the Yili, Kili, Tropic, or Isla Gracia, or Ray as it was formerly known, was blacklisted on many RFMOs, or regional fisheries management organisations, including Kamla, which is where it was blacklisted for Antarctic toothfish poaching, much like uh, the notorious Thunder. Once its uh, illegal fishing history was known, it was obvious that we had to intercept and board the vessel. We tracked them through the night, and on the following day, we assisted the Liberian Coast Guard to board and inspect the Hailong. On approaching the vessel, we could see that not only was the vessel in a terrible condition, but it also bore no markings, country flag, or home port identification except for a name on the bow, uh, which was a freshly scrawled Hailong underneath uh, which we could see the vessel's previous names painted over. This kind of lack of markings or changing of names is very consistent with the actions of an IEU vessel. During the course of the boarding, we went through all their documents and we found that all of their documentations and registrations in Indonesia were forged. The master of the vessel was unable to tell us where the vessel had been operating and although there had been scattered reports and sightings of the vessel along the coast of West African states, it was clear by the state of the vessel that it had been hiding and fishing out at sea for a very long time in order to avoid detection. After a long boarding and many different and conflicting stories from the master, uh, it was determined that the vessel had either fled detention or bribed their way out of Nigeria and we were trying to find another port to prepare their vessel. All this information coupled with the forged documentation led the Liberian Coast Guard to choose to arrest the FE Hailong and we escorted her to Monrovia port. Vessels like the Hailong are the epitome of an IUU vessel. Ships that constantly change names, forge documents and use flags of convenience. With suspected links to organised fishing crimes and its owner believed to be connected to the fishing vessel Viking, a vessel that was tracked down by the Steve Irwin in 2016 and subsequently sunk by the Indonesian Navy, uh, arresting a vessel like the Hailong is a massive win for the state of Liberia in their efforts to combat IUU fishing. One day later, under the cover of darkness, a trawler called Benti 1 uh, escaped from Monrovia port where they were currently under investigation by maritime authorities. We received information from the Liberian Coast Guard base that they had fled towards the Sierra Leone border. At around 9.30am, we spotted a target on our radar that matched the uh, alleged speed of the vessel and we quickly moved to cut off their escape across the border. The Liberian Coast Guard boarding team stopped the vessel a mere four nautical miles from the border and informed the captain that they had to return to Monrovia port to finish their investigation. Initially, the vessel had problems, but the Liberian Coast Guard engineers quickly fixed the problem. However, on the way to Monrovia, they had a, another engine failure, and despite the best efforts of the Liberian Coast Guard, we were unable to restart their engine. This left us with no other choice but to tow the vessel back to port through the night and into the morning. These two arrests exemplify just how successful our collaboration with the Liberian Coast Guard is. Once again, Liberia has shown that they have the strength and political will to fight IUU fishing in their waters. The arrest of these two vessels marks the 12th and 13th arrest for Operation Solar Stella, and with such incredible results, uh, Sea Shepherd hopes to continue their relationship with Liberia into the future.